Hey YouTubers, um, this is my third hair update video. Um, today is March 3rd, 2011. Today marks my fifth three months of me growing my hair out since I had to cut it. And, um, it's been going really well. I'll say that much. I know I need a shape up right now, and I'm gonna get one before I... Thursday. Because... Spring breaks this week and I'm just done with my midterms and I'm so happy and excited and whew, I'm just ready to relax a little bit before I get back on my school grind. But yeah, um, it's been a lot because I know I've been using every week the head and shoulders, head and shoulders, and then the cholesterol deconditioner and that helps make my hair so soft and it's and it's been so much easier to comb my hair now than it ever has been because I hardly hear any pops. There are no pops, YouTubers. No pops, like, and no hair is like coming out on the comb because that was happened before. I thought it was normal, it's like a certain amount of hair comes out every day, and I haven't seen any come out. And I'm just really good with the, glad the way my hair has grown. And I've been using, I've been using the, the Dugo Mega Thick Growth Oil. The Softy Signature Growth Oil, the Hair Fertilizer, and the Blue Magic Super Organic. This I love this. I love this stuff. Like I love this. All of it makes my hair so soft, and easy to comb. I know it's a little bit greasy. I probably should put a little bit less in. I'm not sure, but the way it makes my hair feel so soft and um. I know I was taking the biotin pills, but you know, I was at the GNC store, you know, they were like, you know, you can just take straight biotin, but it works better if you have all the B12 vitamins. So I just bought some, well, the, um, regular, uh, just new, um, multivitamins. I take two every day. I've been doing that pretty much every day, and I like them, and, well, nothing, they really don't make your hair grow more, it's just like, like, think of your scalp as, you know, the soil and your hair is like the, the flowers around the garden you know if that soil is not healthy or right to that plant's condition you know it's not going to grow as well nothing's going to make it grow faster you know that's pretty much genetics and you know you can't really control that but my but yeah my hair is grown very well it's about the top it's like almost two inches and the back is like an inch almost an inch and a quarter but I think that's from like the barber, you know, when he trims it. I know like he faded the sides right here. The side too. So I haven't stopped doing that. So I'm very paranoid about that. I feel like barbers like, you know, don't know how to sometimes cut hair. And like, don't know how to trim it so your afro will grow. I feel like they just take too much off and like, so I feel like last year my hair wasn't growing because I feel like when I went to the barber, they would just like take everything that I grew off. Like, they just love to cut a dude's hair all the way off. Like, no, don't be so trim, trim happy. <laughs> it's like, leave something to grow. <laughs> leave something to grow. It's like, please, leave me something to grow. It's like, come on. <laughs> and, um, yeah. It's been a surprising journey. Just growing my hair for three months, being patient. And the way it's growing now, if I'm almost like two inches now, I should probably have braids by my birthday, hopefully. Nothing happens. And well, I know I've been upset just doing the hair journey over again, but you know, it's been it's worthy worth the wait. I did it for over over a year last year and had the same mistakes, but you know, I'm gonna try to do it right this time. And no texturizers till around my birthday. It's my I made that to myself in New Year's, and let's see, what else can I talk about? Uh, most, I'll just talk about, yeah, I'll talk about the whole multivitamins. Like I said, you know, the biotin doesn't really help, it just makes it more healthier. And, you know, like, I remember actually Gemini saying in hair, hair update videos, um, he also said, you know, um, drink lots of water, eat healthy, exercise, you know. I've been going to the gym too, you know, and just trying to keep my body healthy. But, I, you know, I haven't really gone to the gym, like, last 
couple weeks or so because you know I've had midterms, I've been stressed and cramming. But yeah, I've been kind of been going to the gym consistently, and I just felt better for going to the gym emotionally and physically. You know, I felt better even for getting up at 6 a.m. and exercising for about an hour. You know, doing 30 minutes, 20 minutes on the treadmill. Um, um, doing like 30 to 40 things for my chest and 80 for my legs and a bunch for my stomach and then another 10 minutes on the little power bike in the machine thing, whatever you call it but anyway I just want to say happy 3 month anniversary to my hair <laughs> I'm so glad, you know, it's coming back it's going to be longer so it's got to control how the barber cuts it from now on and I'll be so happy when I'm able to get my hair the way I want it to, and I can do whatever I want. I know my I know my friend who inspired me to grow my hair out. He actually cut his hair last week. Um, my friend Keon, um, he joined the Army Reserves. It was like, whoa, this is crazy. And yeah, he cut his hair off, and I'm growing mine back out. So, and we leave your comments and questions at the bottom. Um, Thanks, YouTubers. Um, I'm so happy this is my three-month hair update. I'm probably going to do another one in another four weeks to see where I'm at then. And I'm just so happy. So, hair, keep doing your thing, and I'm going to keep doing my thing. All right.